Previously on Historical Geocaching, my dad and I are visiting Nui Chota State Historic Site near Calhoun, Georgia, the former capital of the Cherokee Nation back in the 1820s and 30s. We have explored several of the reconstructed buildings, most recently missionary Samuel Worcester's home. We also found a geocache. By the mid-1830s, more and more white settlers were coming to steal Cherokee land, giving away land lotteries. As if that weren't enough, gold was discovered on Cherokee land and that brought in another influx of new invaders. As tensions mounted and problems increased, an inward division of the Cherokee Nation became evident. While Cherokee Chief John Ross and the Cherokee National Council still fought tooth and nail with Andrew Jackson in Washington, D.C. to hold on to Cherokee lands, there was no budget. On the other hand, other influential Cherokees such as Major Ridge, John Ridge, and Elias Buenot started to feel that the best option was to give up the land and move west under their own terms before President Jackson became even more stringent regarding the Cherokees' removal. In the minds of the Ridges and Buenot, it came down to a matter of saving the land or saving the people. Indians supporting removal met with U.S. government officials at Nui Chota, and on December 29, 1835, 20 Cherokees signed the Treaty of Nui Chota on this site, at what used to be the home of Elias Budenot. This treaty relinquished title to all Cherokee lands in the east in exchange for $5 million and a tract of land in what is now Oklahoma. Most Cherokees consider the treaty fraudulent since it was never approved by the Cherokee Council. By a one-vote margin, the treaty was ratified by Congress and signed into law by President Andrew Jackson. Surprise, surprise. In 1838, the U.S. government used this treaty as legal justification to forcibly evict the 15,000 Cherokees who remained in the East. I would like to know, what would you have done in this situation? Would you have tried to hold on to the land no matter what with John Ross, or with the Ridges and Butternut realize that it would be better to give up the land and save your people? There are no easy answers. What these 20 Indians did was considered treason in the Cherokee government as they signed away land without the permission of the Cherokee National Council. When all had moved out to Oklahoma on the Trail of Tears in 1839, on an appointed day, three Ross supporters assassinated Major Ridge, John Ridge, and Elias Boonot in the space of a few hours. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning some more amazing American history. If you like this kind of stuff, be sure to check out the annotations on the screen for more of my videos. And if you haven't hit that big red subscribe button yet, please do so now as I publish new videos each and every week on Wednesdays. As always, this is History Buff TN Photobuck signing out, and I am indeed having a blast with the past.